to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a valentine's day inspired makeup look um you know i love valentine's day i don't have any valentine except myself but that does not mean that we can't still get glam and get fabulous so without further ado because i really hate long intros we're just gonna get straight into the makeup honestly i don't know what it's gonna be but i know it's gonna be smoky sultry and sexy so my sister did my hair for her um makeup class Okay, so I'm just going to start my skin prep by spraying my face with this Omi Glow spray in the shade Queen. And I just pat that into my skin. Next, I'm going in with my Fenty Overnight Moisturizer. This is meant to be overnight, but I knew I would love the consistency of this one way more. And it is so creamy and it feels so good on the skin. Like, it literally makes your skin feel so supple. Then I'm going in with the Laneige Lip Mask in Mint. You could get any shade. I love using lip masks. I do use a lot on the side because my side of my lips do get crusty. Um, when I wear makeup. I don't know if you guys have missed you. For my brows, I'm going with the BH Studio Brow Powder Palette. I always feel bad when I use this because it is not discontinued. So it's not like you guys can actually go buy it. Um, it was supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Powder Palette. Um, but I would just recommend getting a brow powder in your shade. A single one from Anastasia. Um, I only have the palette because I'm a makeup artist. Next, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 370. I pulled up two because normally I use my darker one and then use a, a brighter one in the highlight, but I ended up not using it. But I do have shades 350 and 370. So I'm going in with shade 370 now to just clean up my brow. I like to leave the brows really soft because, um, I don't know, just harsh brows for me when I take pictures. It just gives me, um, a look I don't appreciate, like a harder look. And I like my makeup to look really soft and sultry. Next, I'm just going in with this brush to buff this in. This typically isn't a brush I would use to buff it in, but I couldn't find a smaller brush. Um, so I'm just going in with that. Buff, buff, buff. Next, I'm going in with my eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Smashbox 24 Hour. I have not used this in so long. And I used to love this when I worked in the mall. So I bought one, and I still do very much love this. This is way easier than concealer because it doesn't crease. Um, it blends out really easily and it does pick up colors amazing. I'm going in with the Fenty Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie in my crease or in my transition area to start off my eyeshadow. I love starting it off with this color because it's really soft but it's really natural to skin. I don't know about y'all but when I wear laces I always find myself touching the lace um, as I do my makeup. I don't know why. I'm just going to dust, 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 dust. Next, I'm going in with this shade from my Morphe 3502 palette. I'm just going to buff this in the side. I'm going to try to see if I can add some cool edits to this so you guys can, like, see the product as I'm using it. I think that would be really nice, but I'm not that good at editing, so we'll see what happens. I'm just going to do the voiceover first, though. So I'm just buffing that into, like, the crease and kind of, like, going upwards towards the transition area, but not too much. I honestly don't like really dark eyeshadows really high up on my lid when I'm doing more sultry looks. Um... And guys, remember that the light that you use, it kind of like makes the colors like dull out. But in person, this does look a lot darker. Well, not a lot darker, but you know. Next, I'm going in with the Juvia's The Browns palette. This palette is such a necessary if you love to do chocolate colors. Because honestly, it the pigment on these in this palette is crazy. I never got into the Juvia hype. Because I like big palettes like Morphe. But I will say this. If you give me the choice between Morphe and Juvia's. For the quality of the eyeshadows. I would definitely go with Juvia. Hands down. But for the quantity I like Morphe. Because these colors pack the pigment so much quicker than my Morphe shadows do. Next I'm going in with those two shades. And I'm going in the outer V again. I want to start doing different shades with my eyeshadow. I notice I always do this one like with the outer be smoked and then like kind of like a half lid um I don't ever do full lids these days so we'll see we'll see what I do I cannot wait to upload my Savage Fenty get ready with me um I can't wait to show you guys that I'm about to edit that right after this video next I'm going in with the Fenty concealer in the same shade 370 to cut my crease when I cut the crease in my personal opinion a matte concealer is the best to do this with because it doesn't move as much so it helps you to get more precise lines so I like to use kind of like a dry concealer and you want to use a very small amount and you see how quick that was um, so I really 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 love this concealer for cutting um, the crease I've been getting into cut creases a lot more lately um, 
I will say this though, you can skip this step if you perform a more natural look. Um, I know typically in relationships, if you are in a relationship with a man, at least, um, they do they do tend to prefer more natural makeup. And I know that typically, you know, there are women who care about what their man thinks. So if you do, I would highly recommend skipping this step because this does give the makeup a more, um, I don't want to say drag effect, but it does give it a more dramatic effect. Um, and sometimes I don't actually like when I cut my crease, if I'm being honest with you, because it does tend to make me look a lot more different. So if you want your makeup to look more natural and more like yourself, please skip this step. Next, I'm going in with the same shade from the Chocolates palette, and I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Um, I just like to go in with like a, a nice neutral shade for the first go around, um, just to kind of like solidify it. And that kind of like set the concealer. Like I said, I love doing half lids. And then I'm just going in with this brown. I was a little mad. I forgot how chocolate this brown was. So I wasn't really expecting it. But this, like doing earth tones like this will give you a smoky, sultry look. So it didn't bother me. I'm um, sorry. I My vanity mirror is behind me. So I always like look back to go like, you know, see what my makeup is looking like. And I always do that face. Whenever I'm like checking out my makeup, I always do that face. And right there, I just went in with a really light eyeshadow. But you don't need to do that. Then I'm going in with this black eyeshadow from the Juvia's palette and I'm going in and I'm just kind of like smudging out my lash line, which this will make your eyes look so sexy. Do not do liner. If you want your eyes to look really sexy, there's nothing more sexy than smudging out eyeshadow. Like wing liner, a straight line, all of that, none of that will give you more sexy than that. Then to clean up, I just go in with like any random moisturizer and I'll like clean up. You can also do that with micellar water. I like to plump my lips at this step. Be careful with this though because you don't want your foundation to lift around your eye, your mouth, which mine actually ended up doing because I forgot to wipe it off. But I wasn't actually going anywhere, so I didn't care. And then to line, I just just doing a tight line with the Huda Beauty because to be completely honest with you, like harsh lines aren't as sexy as um like blown out looks. So that's why I prefer smudging eyeshadow when I want to look sexy. And like that's why I'm saying skip the cut crease if you want to really seduce your partner and um you know have them appreciate the makeup skip that step i'm just going in with the 77 gel eyeliner um from inglot my favorite um and i go, like to go upwards when i know i'm gonna do lashes because that will help your lashes blend in more it's just really hard to do especially with the bright light in your face um next i'm going in with the anastasia foundation you guys didn't see primer take because i don't always use it to be honest with you especially when i know i'm gonna take all my makeup and this foundation is in the shade 440 C. At first I thought this would be too light for me because I'm used to going a lot darker with my foundation. like a, Maybe like a hue or two more than this. But watching this on camera and whenever I take pictures with this foundation, it actually matches me way better. So I really, really love this foundation. This foundation photographs beautifully. Like literally, it will make you look so HD, so airbrushed. That's why I'm, and then I start getting into my makeup. Then I'm just going to do the other side and fix that up. You're going to see me do a mistake in a second if I'm rushing. You guys saw that? Look, that happens to me all the time. That's why I actually don't enjoy brush, um, buffing in my foundation with sponges. I'm using the Fenty sponge, and that one makes your foundation look so good, but I hate when I make mistakes like that. Next, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Concealer. I love this concealer so much in the shade um, 24 Peanut Butter, I believe. Um, I only have 24 and 20, but I got this from a Painted by Spencer. Painted, painted by Spencer. He used it in his videos. And this concealer will give you such a nice full coverage under eye. Um, and that's what you really want, like especially if you're going to take a photo with your man. You want to make sure you know you don't see any darkness peeking through. This is a really, 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 really good concealer. I was just going back in with my foundation sponge to blend to blend out the other areas. For some reason, I don't like highlight as bright anywhere other than underneath my eye and my nose. Then to brighten it up just a tidbit, I'm going to go in with another Huda. This is in the shade um, Graham Cracker, I think, or Toasted Something. I'm going to put it in the, the description box. But it's number 20. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eye and only on my nose. I hate the sponge I used for this, but I couldn't find a sponge with, like, a smaller point. Because um, 
like if you aren't careful you'll like end up erasing more eyeshadow all right then i'm going in with william tettle in the shade toasted honey to contour and then i'm going in to set huda beauty with the shade blondie this setting powder feels so good i'm like i love 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 huda beauty complexion products i'm not the hugest fan of the fun i mean i do like her foundation i own it um and it is but i'll say this the fa her foundation is more full coverage then i'm going in with the fenty beauty for bronzer in the shade caramel cute like i use for my eyeshadow which it is good when you like do like synchronization on your face it will make it like um sink so much more then i'm going in with california for blush it's not my favorite blush anymore i used to really love it but not anymore i like the sephora um hysterical more then to set my face, I'm going in with the e.l.f. setting spray, and I'm just, like, dousing that in to get rid of that powdery look. Um, just let it dry completely. I like to let it dry completely before I do anything else. I remember there was, like, a phase where you're supposed to, like, let your face kind of be damp when you apply highlighter. Anytime I did that, that gave me the nastiest streaks. And then I'm just going in with, like, a little detail brush to smoke out underneath my eye. This will make you look so sexy. Be careful with this though because you don't want to look like you got punching eyes so you want to make sure you do it right. Then I'm just kind of like adding like a little point like the little um, Egyptian point. Do not do this again if you want to look more natural because it is going to give you a, like a sexy harder look. So I do it but then sometimes I don't like it. Then I'm going in with one of my favorite highlighters the Kanye Candy by Fenty. That will give your skin the gleam gleam gleam. Um, and like I said I, I want to just make this very clear. I don't think you should do makeup like... For men, like, and I, I don't do my makeup for men, but the reality of the situation is that there's a lot of women who want to look good for their man, and there's nothing wrong with that. If I had a man, I probably would want to look good for him, too. So, you know, just keep, I'm just giving you guys slight little tips on how to, you know, make sure that your makeup is still appealing to your man instead of him complaining that it's, like, too much or, like, you know, you look like a drag queen or he can't recognize you. So there's, like, small little things you could do to just keep it still looking like you but sexy. Then I'm just going in with the NYX Brown Lip Liner, and then I'm going in with the Dose of Colors in the shade Bear With Me. And I like to take brushes to buff this out instead of my lips, because when you use your lips, I don't know, maybe my lips are just crazy or something, but I feel like it starts transferring all over the place. You can leave it matte if you're a matte girl. I'm a gloss girl, but now I'm going to pop on my lashes. I do use bonding glue, which probably I should stop doing. Um, so, but I'm impatient. That's probably, but I, also the Sassy Glue is good. For some reason, I bought two and I can't find none of them. And they're more expensive at the Beast Fly store. They're like $6. And I had two of the big bottles. So, um, that's why I haven't bought another one. Probably one of my sisters has it. So, I'm just popping those lashes on. Normally, I'm a tweezer girl. If you if you need tweezers, the Tarte tweezers for lashes are fantastic. Then, I'm just going with the gloss. But I don't rub it in with my lip. I hate when I do that. I like to take a brush and, like, move the gloss myself. Again, like I said... I think my lips are just crazy, so when I do stuff on my lip, I just generally don't like it. Um, next, this is this is an elevation. This is taking loose glitter and putting it in the highlight spots. That will amp the look. Now I'm just going to do my beauty marks, and now let me stop talking. Alright guys, so this is the finish. The finish. I don't know why I keep saying finish like that. But this is the finished look. I'm going to go pop out my hair and then I'm going to keep my robe on and then we're going to come right back so you guys could, so you guys can see what this would look like if you know you're really fully out. What you need, I'm all there.